In this video, we're going to take a look at the cockpit, set up the navigation and rockets for employment, and execute a training mission to employ those rockets. Well, maybe not that hard, but nice. <laughs> yeah, one of your wheels is... <laughs> Can I break it? Can't, but that's alright. Yeah, 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 you're a little cricket. Ripper? Uh, Ripper's ready. Okay, so uh, just just get familiarized with the cockpit right away here. Um, we'll start with the... Let's see here. Let's start with the data cartridge. Why not start with the most annoying part of this thing? Um, if you look back behind you and to the left, there's a rectangular slot that is empty right now. Uh, yep. Uh, click it, and you'll see a black cartridge enter. Game that board. is the. Is that an Atari game? Yes. Yeah, so uh, make sure you up. blow on it before you put it in, and then. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's the uh, flight plan. Um, basically, loads everything, including weapons information and all that stuff. Um, very important, and you need to do it no matter what for every flight. Um, the other thing that you will have ingrained into your head if you ever learn the Vigan is on the front right. You've got a like a keypad with some numbers flashing. Yep. Uh, that's your computer. Uh, if you move it to Ref Lola, which is the rotary dial to the Ref Lola, which is mm -hmm. uh, basically reference uh, longitude latitude, uh, and then hit input on the the switch there to initiate the cartridge or the flight plan from the cartridge. You're going to do Ref Lola input nine. 099 nine. and the zero is back behind and off to the left there. So 9099 nine, nine, and then leave that there for a second. I'm sorry, where On is the, the right, zero? Oh, Jesus. It's yeah, yeah. It's separate. Oh. So 909900. Nine, zero, zero. So to the right is all your waypoint stuff. You'll see B5, B4, B3, B2, B1 uh -huh. and all that. Yeah. Hit LSQ. Oh my god. The bottom left one. That's Wait, basically your enter. RC. Now I've hit enter. The less skew. What? What? And it should say zeros, right? Yeah. You see zeros. zeros. Yep. Yep. So you've loaded your data cartridge. You can now move it to attack oh, pause, yeah. which is Wait, basically current position and output. Okay. Uh, so that's the data cartridge loaded. You'll do that every time, no matter what, unless you're just flying with guns, I guess. But even then, that's weird. Um. So basically, what that did is it load. The flight plan, so if you look on, if you open up the knee board with right shift K by default, I think, Yeah. Uh, you'll see right away that it's got your flight plan and it's got your waypoints, it's got all the cool. stuff, time on target, ETA, all that fun stuff, QFE. The QFE is very important. So the target we're attacking, we need to be set for the right QFE for that area for our rockets and our CCIP to work. So we're going to look at, uh, let's see here, what is it? Waypoint 4 is going to be our attack waypoint. And let's see how it says, let's mm -hmm. see, 1012.7. 10, mm -hmm. OK, so to the left of our main screen radar thing, there's an altimeter, like a mm -hmm. backup altimeter kind of thing. Turn that till it reads the right QFE, which was 1012.7. OK, right. now to explain the HUD the navigation and the weapon selector. So, to the left side, you have a, joy a secondary joystick. That's your radar control joystick. In front of that, you have a rotary dial that says bear, nav, ANF, spa, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So those are your modes. So, uh, bear is basically like a just a hold mode. It's nothing. Nav is how it's gonna get nav information and display nav information. A and F is basically your attack mode. And if you flip that on right now, you'll see your radar will lighten up. Mm -hmm. um, SPA is for reconnaissance type stuff. And all the rest doesn't matter really right now because it gets too complicated after that. Top left, there's three lights. One will say Spock. The other will say ATT and Holst. Uh, mm -hmm. Two are unlit right now. That's your autopilot and your... Uh, your flight system controls. So Spock should always be lit. That's uh, 
allowing you to fly the plane. <laughs> uh, attitude is obvious what that does. That's attitude. And hold uh, is both, or I believe that's just altitude, actually. Um, and you can hit one, you can hit both, you can do stuff like that. Uh, obviously, what else here? Okay, let's go to the HUD. So the HUD, you know that there's two different modes. There's up and down. Um, the reason they have that is because of, I guess, just the AOA of the, the Vigan with it being a delta wing and all that stuff. It needs extra room for stuff. So if you're doing uh, landing or takeoff or uh, high drag bombs, you're going to want the HUD down. I mean, Anything uh, else, you can leave it up. It how doesn't... Do how do you move it up uh, and down? So if you just kind of click to left, bottom left of like the, the pad there, there'll be a little green spot that you can move it up and down. Oh. Yep, yeah. Yep. So just leave it down for now. And because we switched it into nav mode, you'll see that we've got a flight path vector. We've got on the very bottom, a very weird looking, but it's a uh, compass basically. So we're, uh, yeah, there's one three, which is one three zero, obviously. <laughs> and then just above that, there's two lines with empty space in between it. Mm -hmm. So the Vigan calculates your weight and all that stuff and tells you when to rotate. So what will happen is if you're lined up on the runway and all that stuff, as you accelerate, a line starting from the middle of that will expand out to both lines. And once it touches both lines, that's your rotation speed. Mm. And all you do is just give it a tiny bump aft, and then it'll it'll pitch up and then you just try to maintain uh you know your climb out okay. um Ooh. to the right there's that weird green uh screen thing that's how you use your mavericks we won't be doing that now but that's where that is that's the maverick display uh below that and to the right you see ls lit up in white letters that is your current Waypoint. So right now we're at our starting airfield, which is our LS. And uh, just know that that displays what current waypoint is selected. Um, and if you go down and to the right to that LSQ thing, you can hit B1, B2, and you'll see how it cycles through that. And you'll also see how it cycles the distance below that. It's displayed in, <coughs> displayed in kilometers and Swedish miles. And one Swedish mile is 10 kilometers. Near our waypoint selector, uh, above that, you'll see a rotary dial that has a bunch of stuff like attack, IR, RB, bomb, RB-75, and all that stuff is oh, your up, weapon On selector. the right wall. Mm -hmm. You're going to move it to the attack, which is, uh, yeah, it should just say attack, AT-attack. Okay. Okay, so now we're set up for... Uh, our rockets technically. Now we, we just need to, to set one waypoint. Hmm? Do we have to move the other dial to anything? Nope. That's okay. for bombs and choosing how far you want them spread out and other stuff. Okay. Is there any type of master arm or anything? Uh, yeah, there is a master arm switch on your uh, your joystick. You'll need that. And you'll also want it a, on a two position switch. Let's map that real quick. What is that called? Because yep. I couldn't find a master arm. Uh, it is called trigger safety bracket arm trigger bra uh, safe. So you're saying for that bra that safety arm thing, I should definitely have it on my joystick. You're saying you use it? On something that you will cycle it back and forth on, yes. That's basically like the step before you hit pickle, and you always want that. Because it changes your HUD too, right? So if you have it in safe, in a certain mode, then it's going to display something. If you have it armed in a certain mode, then it's going to display another thing. Okay, yeah, so let's take a look at the briefing here. Uh, you'll see there's some pictures there taken from a uh, recon Vigan, the S-37 Vigan, uh, basically showing the attack direction of our target that we've been assigned for. Um, it's basically just a shoreline of tanks and infantry and some boats uh, dropping them off. That's going to be waypoint four for us. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a pop-up point before then. So we'll go in super low level, very fast, probably around, well, not super fast, but 0.85 Mach, something like that. Pull up, rotate to the right, aim towards our target, fire off some stuff, break left, head back home. 
the other thing we need to do is set up that attack point using that waypoint four is our target. So first thing we want to do is on our data entry thing, the keypad, mm -hmm. turn it mm -hmm. to tact input. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to want to put nine mm -hmm. and then hit B4 on the waypoint. Once that goes back to zero, you can return it back to attack, pause, and output. And hit B4, and you'll look up on the readout of, should say, M4 now, when you look on the, yeah, the readout of what waypoint you're on, if you click it. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So now we just set a target waypoint. Uh, mm -hmm. So now hit LSQ again to return us back to our takeoff runway. Okay, so I'm going to set up the pop. If you look on the F10 map, Basically, our flight plan, if you find a Napa, we're on the very northern part there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to head north, then we're going to head west. Our targets are at the kind of northernmost thing there, Kuchurgi, Kuchurgi, Kurgi, whatever it is. <laughs> um, our pop-up point is going to be, oh, geez, I'm not even going to try to announce that, Antis, Antis Kakaga, <laughs> the one to the east. Yeah, on the lake. Right, I yeah. Lima so Lima. I'm just gonna pick a random point. So let's just say we all pop up from the southern ish area of that and we wanna go three one six for six point eight. Okay, so three one six for six point eight, keep that in mind. Okay, now we're gonna go back to tact input. We're gonna type three one six zero uh three one oh wait, hold on. Just double check. Three one six right. for six point eight. Three one six zero six eight. To clear it, if you look on the bottom, you hit Resna, or you can just hit input output, and then it resets it. And now you hit B four. And now we set up a pop up point. So if you click B four, it'll say U four now. That means the pop up point before that. So what happens is we'll fly over there and it'll direct us towards U4, which is an offset of B4. Once we hit U4, it'll switch to B4, and that will be directing us to our target. We pop up, and it'll show on our heading. Our radar is also our compass and our heading. That yellow thing is our heading towards target. You just roll it so you're facing there, and then you're good to go. Just look for the target. And we're good to go. Clear as well. Um, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what you're going to do, as far as our flight plan is we're going to take off you're going to raise your hud you're going to follow the waypoint which it'll direct you on the radar display there's that yellow thing that'll bring you to b1 we'll go over b1 we'll do b2 we'll do b3 and then it'll direct us towards our uh, pop-up point we're going to be in mode uh anf or uh, nav but we'll just do anf for now so we'll, as soon as we hit our pop-up point or maybe before then, hit A and F on your master mode mm -hmm. selector. Mm -hmm. You're gonna, mm -hmm. um, let's see here, boom, A and F. You're gonna pull up, you're gonna turn towards the target. As soon as you have the target in sight, safety off, you'll see a display for the rockets. There's two lines, a dot, and then there's a circle, which will be our waypoint. That's if you were in nav mode. And then you'll see below that is a line uh, three lines with a line going through it. So that bottom one is your distance. Um, as long as you have that line there, you're within range. You don't want it to get below the first two lines, though, or else you're in blast frag range. And uh, that's pretty much it. So you just put the dot on the target. <laughs> that simple. and try to keep it straight and you're good to go and we go ahead and select b1 or b ls keep it in ls everything's automatic from now on you don't have to click anything all you need to do is flick your hud up once we get to the waypoint uh hit a and f on your master mode unsafe fire the rockets away you go okay <laughs> whoa hello hey break set 
Oh, I should also mention there's three stages of afterburner, and the readout is kind of near the uh, the, the uh, distance to your waypoint, if you know where that is. Does it shoot everything? Oh yeah, it's okay. you hold it down until everything's gone. Okay. Are you going, uh, which way are you landing? Well, that I'm way? landing the way that we took off. Okay. Aren't I? Because we turned well, left when we left the airfield, didn't we? I just saw somebody on the runway parked the other opposite direction. No, I know, but I think he just landed backwards. Yeah, We're breaking right. Know. We're, gonna We're go breaking right because we, we took off, yeah. Like, like real Sorry. pilots. You guys are too proper. <laughs> I just followed my navigation system. It told me to come this way. They do it different in Sweden. And it's meant to be slammed down relatively hard, so just keep that in mind. Well, maybe not that hard, but oh. nice. <laughs> 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 yeah, one of your wheels is... <laughs> Did I break it? Can't do it, but that's alright. Yeah, 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 a little cricket. Oh. Uh, uh, I did. And you're flipping. Plunk. Ooh, I just saw a big explosion on the airfield. <laughs> that was me. I was marking the runway for you. And rotate. There we go, popping up. They're popping up. 30 degrees, target's in sight, rolling into them. How to burner. And I'm off left. Okay. Heading 180 on the deck. Switching back to nav and selecting my landing waypoint here, which is Elamal. And turning towards our airfield.
Actually, do a little air break. Three, initial. Okay, once you get to five, now I can do thrust reversers on, gear down. Wheels down, thrust reversers on, get the brakes. Alright, two's clear the runway. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll be doing some more of these tutorials on the Viggen. And just kind of weaving them into missions so you can see them uh, in practicality as well. It's going to make the videos a little bit longer, but I'll try and put some timestamps in here so you guys can jump around. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.